Most of the couples who come through our doors, their problem is that they are failing to achieve a pregnancy. They want to have a baby and they're not able to and, and they're seeking our help to try and have a baby. These are couples who could get pregnant naturally if they chose to do so, but they're afraid to get pregnant because they know that they are at risk for a specific genetic condition. Oftentimes, unfortunately, the couple have only learnt that that is the case because the first baby that they've had has, has had a genetic disease like cystic fibrosis. Pre-implantation genetic diagnosis, PGD, is a strategy for these couples who know that they are at genetic risk to cope with their risk situation. So they, have got, they go through the usual IVF steps, they go through super ovulation so that the woman produces a large number of mature eggs simultaneously. We try to fertilize as many of those eggs as possible. And when we get to the stage of day five, when they've become blastocysts, the ones that look promising, the ones that to us look as though they might well result in a baby, scientists in our laboratory, they carry out a biopsy using a laser and remove a couple of cells from each of these promising looking day five embryos they instantly freeze the embryo which they have biopsied because that needs to be kept on standby for a future day. And the biopsy cells that we have removed are sent to the genetics laboratory that we use. We've only, we've only taken out two, three, four, five cells from each embryo. They are able to replicate, to duplicate up the, the DNA. So the genetics lab is able to multiply up the DNA in each sample 100,000 fold uh, and then have enough to analyze genetically. The genetics laboratory comes back to us and they will let us know whether each of the embryos that we've frozen are safe to transfer because they're free of the condition that we fear or whether they're affected by the condition. The couple can avoid transmitting the genetic disease that they, that, that they know is a, is, a, is a real possibility for them. And generally with these genetic situations there, that any child they have, once they know that they are at risk, there's a 25 to 50% chance that, the, that any child they have will be affected by the same condition. And by doing PGD, we reduce that to an, an almost zero risk. It is the most elegant way for these couples at genetic risk to, to deal with their situation. And here, the programme that we have set up, it's been the first successful PGD programme in, in the country because PGD is very demanding. Every facet of your, your service has to be tip-top for, for PGD to work. You have to have a background of IVF success because you've got to get a baby at the end of the day. You've got to have a robust blastocyst culturing system because you need that if you're going to produce nice blastocysts to, to biopsy. The people who carry out the, the, the analysis and, and the biopsy of the embryos have got to be at the top of their game or other, otherwise you may mechanically damage the embryos. And you've got to have a good freezing system because you always have to freeze the embryos to keep them on standby while you carry out your analysis. So if any facet of your lab falls down, your program is not going to work. So we've been very proud to be the first IVF unit in Ireland which has made PGD work for patients and to produce babies. Our first success was for, for cystic fibrosis, which is the commonest serious genetic condition in the country. And since that, we've had other successes for other genetic conditions.